good morning today we are discussing uh, uh, standing wave ratio that how this uh, uh, is beneficial or uh, used to uh, demonstrate uh, whether the antenna is uh, practical or uh, whether this uh, for uh, business purpose or for the experimental purpose so let's think about the standing wave ratio everybody knows uh, that uh, what the transmission line and how the waves are uh, formed in that uh, transmission line so similar concept we can uh, assume in antennas here the standing wave ratio comes in terms of the reflection coefficient right so if i write here swr equals 1 is to 1 that means if we have 1 is to 1 that means 1 minus 1 upon 2 this will return in 0 right this case is possible ideally but if you have SWR of 2 is to 1 so that means 2 minus 1 upon 2 plus 1 this will become 1 by 3 that means 0.33 so such type of antenna is practically available these antennas are recognized by 2 is to 1 corresponding value of the return loss in such case is minus 10 dB so this SWR is uh, very much uh, uh, beneficial applicable for those antennas showing the return loss bandwidth of the minus 10 dB so with respect to this return loss bandwidth with respect to 2 is to 1 we are able to find out that uh, what should be the bandwidth of uh, the antenna similarly we may have the SWR value of 3 is to 1 so this 3 is to 1 ratio is considered in 4G and 5G antennas so previous antennas were working on 2 is to 1 as well as 3 is to 1 but what happens in case of the SWR equals 3 is to 1 that return loss will be minus 6 dB so if this minus 6 dB that means 75 percent of power is radiated and 25 percent is lost now if you look at the previous case of 2 is to 1 where the 89 percent of the power is radiated and only the 11 percent is lost so this concept is used in uh, recognizing the antennas especially for the 5G 4G we are using minus 6 dB of the return loss and the corresponding value of the SWR is 6 to 1 so with respect to this we are able to find out the bandwidth now there is a drawback here in this case yes minus 6 dB return loss is considered but bandwidth will be very very low that is already defined in LTE as well as in WLAN, WiMAX etc so 5 megahertz to 10 megahertz 20 megahertz these are the acceptable bandwidth in case of 4G and the 5G. Thank you.